Well, talk about there? it in a second. Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. Uh, I was saying earlier, when you're skinning animals and things like that, I wish they would make a mechanic where you had to do it properly. You know, instead of just, you just cut down the stomach and the whole skin just slides off. I'd like, I'd like you to be able to gut things and everything uh, properly. Maybe have an option where you didn't have to if you don't want to, but I think that'd be kind of cool if you wanted to. Make it as real as I'm possible. Okay. You sure? Of course. Can I help a little? All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. All okay, right. Sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. Crazy to think that stuff like this used to actually happen occasionally. You don't hear about these type of robberies happening anymore. Okay, this is good. All right, that should do it. You head back up to the others. I got it from here. Okay. Come on, horse. Here, uh, elk. Sounds like. What's going on? He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Yeah, yeah, we will. Everything okay? Yep. I think so. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here any minute now. Alright, we gotta put our little thing on here. Items. Gloves. No. Ah. Did I get it? No. There we go. Here it comes. Gentlemen, it's time. Good luck. Follow you. You all know what to do. Here we go. Oh, no. Where did you find that moron? You said it was fine. It was my fault. Come on! You're pathetic. You know that? Uh, All right, well, let's run after it. Here we go, here we go! Oh, jeez. Oh, well. Trying, Lenny. Now stop the yeah, you're okay. Now, let's go slow this thing down. All right. He didn't make it. He fell. The others will get him. Come on, we need to stop this train. <laughs> yeah, it's probably my fault. What is wrong with you boys? Kill him! How are you doing there? I'm okay. Going pretty good so far. Go ahead and check his body, get a little ammo off of him, or money, whatever.
Stop trying. Oh, jeez. Didn't expect that. I got him. I got him. That was a mistake, sir. That was a mistake. Down you go. Pull that handbrake. Guys, coming from anyway, you reckon? All these bastards must be gone to suck. We need the car at the back, right? Yep, keep pushing on. Watch out, watch out. To the left, to the left. To the train. Gonna get out of here. Oh, I know we are. Oh, that's the black hey, fella. That's the other boy. I think. There's Pinkerton. Pinkerton's. Gotta be bigger than this car right here. Oh, well, it might not be actually. Let's go ahead and get on here and see what he wants. You two all right? Yes, let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. Yeah. Five. Opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. Oh, nice. That's enough. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. All right, I'll take it, Bill. Thank you. Now, it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Here you go. Now light the fuse. All right, you run back. Death wish. I'd step back, fellas. I'll get him. All right, come on. Good walk on out here. We don't want to kill you. My. Get on up there. Search that train. All right. <laughs> Yeah, I swear, man, the controls are so clunky sometimes. Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be friend. easy as cake. <sighs> What's your You're just going to stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will you? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. Letter to it's Leviticus. King. I'll give you that. Letter to Leviticus Cornwall from Leland Oil Development Company. Let's see if we can get this open. Dear Mr. Cornwall, 
We are yet to receive payment of $2,000 for the initial phase of exploration at the Wapati Indian Reservation and Barino, as agreed in the contract between Cornwall Kerosene and Tar and the Leland Oil Development Company, dated November 9, 1898. On receipt of the funds, we will proceed with phases two and three of the project and present you with a detailed report of our findings within the month. Yours respectfully, James Critchley, head of accounts, Leland Oil Development Company. Make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. Give me those. Railroad contracts, invoices, blah, blah, blah. Letter to Leviticus Cornwall from oh, Archibald really? Jameson. Sure Dear Leviticus, thank you for the Spanish telegram and for your continued interest in the Jameson sugar. Mining Company. However, so any news you have received of mismanagement or financial difficulties at the mine of Ansberg are simply fake, and I would urge you to question your sources. The coal industry is quite different from the oil industry in a number of ways, so I certainly remain open to a business you meeting at your convenience to exchange habits? ideas and educate each other on our respective areas of corporate expertise. I would also be delighted to host you in Ansberg and give you a personal tour of the mine and its associated facilities. I look forward to further correspondence. Yours sincerely, you look, Archibald Not Jameson. Much yet. Well, let's keep looking. Goddamn O'Driscoll. These just seem to be contracts. Arthur, have you looked down the end there? No, I'm getting there. Looks like something. <sighs> Keep looking. There must be something. Lots of letters. That's the bonds. Got him. Nice. Thank God. Come on. Not yet. We're still looking. Take that. Fine brandy, absolutely. Don't mind if I do. Are you done in there? Nope. Nope, I ain't. What did you find? These. I lost my hat. Bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. Yeah, I ain't gonna kill him. I'm not a killer. Not when I don't have to be anyway. Deal with the guards. Threaten. Okay. Get on the train. Quick. On you. Any bright ideas, I kill all three. So all of them. Come on. Move. We won't tell a soul, I swear. You dang right you won't. All right, go to the engine car, start the train. Okay, I'm gonna go in this car real fast first because I haven't, I haven't looked in it too much. So there's anything in here I can take. Search drawer. Absolutely, we will. Anything else? I think that's about it. All right, let's get up to the engine. See what this guy wants to do. God, there's dead bodies all over the place. What did it say? I found. I didn't even look at it. Let's see here. What we got? I guess we're just gonna send it on its way.
Well, come on. I hate a loading screen. So, we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. <laughs> well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. Okay, well, I guess this is pretty much the end of the prologue. Get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. I don't need to buy you no whiskey. I can just steal you one. All my crap falling right off the back. back Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still strong enough to hold up a wing? Shut up. I'm just saying. Well, say less. Pick the wheel up. <sighs> All right, it's on there. Nearly there. There. That's all hey, it takes, huh? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. What do you think? They wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. Follow the river, then cut left inland. So, yes, the Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. 
Stolen clean away from them, it was every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Hurry it up, we've got work to do. Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. In spite of that, just talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. Yeah. So, what happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did. But when we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. Well, let's hear it. We still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we plan? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls, our kind of place. The Driscolls? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but... We kept telling him that ferry job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... Well, I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay, thank you. Parts merbs, these can be consumed to replenish your yep. cores used in cooking. A variety of plants can be found throughout the world. Pick them to learn about their properties. Well, another day, perhaps. We have enough to actually read that. <clears throat> Total progress 0%. I'm assuming we do not.
brother. Head in there. And follow the track for a bit. Thanks. Hey, what? slow up. I'll jump on. Stop. How do I stop? It won't stop. Oh, there we go. Okay then. Jeez. Back up and go get him. All right, jump on. No. Okay. Or not. What are you doing? No, I thought he wanted to ride, but I guess he don't. survived for now now it is time to prosper Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater we were onto something big then Micah got you all excited about that ferry and here we are we have all made mistakes over the years Hosea every last one of us but I kept us together kept us alive kept the nooses off our neck I guess I'm just worried I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money and a, a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. <laughs> Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <coughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer Robin Banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe now and we are far too poor so it is time for everyone to get to work get to work but stay out of trouble remember we are itinerant workers laid off when they shut down our factory to the north now get out there and see what you can find uncle reverend swanson no more passengers <laughs> <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep there is a town Little way down the track, name of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. <laughs> All right, well... I guess this is kind of where it starts to where we sort of hopefully where we can kind of go off on our own and do kind of what we want to do I'm uh, looking forward to exploring a couple of weeks later we got off the mountain and rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartland been this far east in many a year. 
Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier, in spite of black water and that whole mess. Arthur? Jose? <laughs> Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> okay, well... We've got a camera now. <clears throat> so what do we do first? Um... Oh, Arthur, my boy. My dear boy. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing at all. For the first time in weeks, nothing. We're free. We're free to plan our own futures once more. Yeah. I hope so, Dutch. You kept the faith, Arthur. You always kept it. And I ain't losing it now. Alright. Thanks for a little chit chat. Let's go see what this is over here. Maybe after lunch, hey? Each day, Pearsons will make stew which you can eat from the pot. Okay, we can't do nothing with that. Got a banjo over here. Can we pick up the banjo and play? I'm sure we probably can. Uh, I would be wrong. We cannot. That sucks. We'll get us something to eat real fast. Another day. Yeah, yeah. Well, how do we eat the stew? Oh, here we go. Okay, so we can't grab but one. Bowl of stew. But every couple days, apparently. Okay, I think we're done. Yeah, there we go. Throw it down, throw it down with the spoon. <laughs> so somebody else can come and eat the, eat stew out of the same bowl that we just ate out of. Yummy. And then what we got over here. What does this guy say? Anything? Good morning. Examine photograph, okay. Pretty. That's Suzanne Grimshaw. Well, you're a good looking good looking lady, Suzanne. All right, well, uh, let's look at our map real fast. So we got how far away are some of these people and what's going on? So we got Uncle here. Reverend Swanson down there. Oh, wait, wait, what was that? Jose, Jose, I told you that Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake. Okay. Michael needs to speak to you. All right. And there's one up here next to the town. Jose, I told you that Xavier, Bill, and Charles were already in Valentine. I'd kind of like to ride to Valentine, I think. So we must have went from up here somewhere. Yeah, all the way down here. There wasn't much to look at. But there is some, some interesting things. We've got a, got a little town there. Looks like some something up there. Barrow Lagoon might be fun to check out at some point. Cattail Pond. That's just a, a small little section of the map, looks like. He goes way out in there, too. Alright, well, you know what? Let's ride out to, uh... Let's ride out to... Valentine.
Let's ride out to Valentine and see uh, see what's going on. Hey, how you doing, buddy? You can donate crafting supplies. Mr. Morgan, bring me some materials, and I'll be glad to make something nice for you. Satchel, can you make a satchel? You can't make nothing yet. Appreciate it, Pearson. All right, let me go get my horse. We'll be well on our way. Jeez, I, I tell you guys, I, I do apologize for uh, how bad the, the uh, resolution is here. I didn't think this would be an issue. It, generally, it's not, but I'm playing, I guess, a little ways away from the modem, and I'm not hard hardwired uh, for because I've got I'm actually checking the stream out on my PC, and so I can't hardwire both, um, and I don't have a way to don't have a way to watch my PC wirelessly currently. But yeah, that's, uh, I may end up, I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I don't like that pixelation, I hate that, so we'll, we'll see what happens. I might, I might change something up, I think. Where the heck is my horse? There it comes. Come on, Elmer. Alright, let's go. I almost would like to buy this on PC just to play it and have a have better quality. But I'd hate to start all the way back over again. Even though I'm really not that far not that far along yet. I don't know, we'll see. You don't. Not a thing happens round here without an O'Driscoll saying so. Understand me? No, I don't Let's understand you. So. What are you trying to do here? Go on! Get lost! Right Come down on. you go! Mark your time! Dainty! Beat the crap out of you boys. All right, let's get to it. Parcel for you. Hey, give me my hat back. Yep. All right, let's continue on. the town. We weren't that far from it. <laughs> Pretty good sized little town. Got a saloon here. Now I'm the one that's got the bottle paper. Come on, sir. Try to remember what really happened at Sylvia's saloon back in 76. Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. 
It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Ancient history. Done and dusted. The dead got off lucky. The living got to keep suffering. Same as always. But did you shoot the Newton twins? I don't give a pig's penis about the Newton twins. One of them was a girl, anyhow. But you had been friends back in 73. You rode the Alabaster Trail together. Funny thing about pig's penises. They're curly, like their tails. Is that a fact? <laughs> I've heard that before. Put that in your fucking book, Plato. <sighs> All right, well, let's. This let's isn't see. going very well. Apparently not. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Lucy Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well,. I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. How's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm going to write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. OK. And forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it. And, well, there's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger. Flacco Hernandez. Billy Midnight. Black Bell. Never heard of him. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Calloway. Any of them get uppity... Shoot him. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some sad, deluded fools like him, ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him? Does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Hmm, that's gonna here be a... some other flop house. That's gonna be a, a longer quest, I think. That's gonna involve uh, investigating and whatnot. Easy, and what we got up here? Howdy. All right. Let Good call. Good morning, sir. Hello, sir. Watch Just yourself. Just taking it one day at a time. I'll buy oh, a well. newspaper. New Hanover Gazette, number 27. All a right. A good one. Hey, you got any matches? Well, can I, can see I read you for the next one. Howdy. New Hanover Gazette, number 27. Read all about it. Read all about it. Train robbed. Oh, look here. We, we're here. A private train known by the railroad, Sugar and Oil Magnet, Magnet Leviticus Cornwall, was robbed in broad daylight by masked outlaws. Headed north towards the Grizzlies, the outlaws boarded and stopped the train shortly after it had departed from West Elizabeth. Initial cables sent as of printing time indicate the bloody takeover occurred in order to steal railroad bonds from the personal car of Mr. Cornwall. Shortly after the robbery, the train was set in motion without a driver or crew. Barring dangerously through the area at a high rate of speed, the train was eventually brought to a stop by engineers and law lawmen <coughs> north of Ansburg, who reported a scene of violent struggle and bloody carnage on board. Some engineers and guards from the train survived the slaughter, but were too startled to report much information 
to value of value to the authorities. Blackwater lockdown. Bank boat heist, largest robbery in years. Dutch's boys accused. Bounty's place. Blah 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 blah. Hearsay. Religious sect recruiting. Twenty-one dead in attacks. Banks of stages held at gunpoint. Hmm. Alright, we'll have to look at that a little later on, I think. Drugs! Alright. We got a barber over here. Barber's locked, we can't do nothing with it yet. Well, here's uh, what's his face? Oh, Arthur, Arthur, come here, come here, come over here. I want you to meet our friends. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Well, ain't you just a tough as teak Good mountain? Good lord, man. man. Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. That girl's got a anyway, set on her. This one is a pussy cat. Exactly, yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Yeah, he didn't offended her. <laughs> well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charm. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man, I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey. hey there he is. Watch where you're going. Take it Are easy, you about pal. to kiss that guy Take or punch him? Oh, and we have our answer. All right, bar fight. Oh, come on. We can handle these. You're mine now. Oh. I can throw him. It says you can throw him in a certain direction, but... but it ain't doing nothing. My dang hat at. Javier, can you help, Morgan? Well, let me get my hat first. I'm not a good fighter. He is whipping my tail. Oh, 
Oh dear. I'm not doing too good. Now who's got the upper hand? Stop! Stop! Please! Please! I beg you, stop! Come, sir. You won the fight already, surely that's enough? What business is it of yours? No business. <clears throat> no business, sir, but please, I beg you. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. That sounds like the snake oil. Look guy. who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. No. Nope. Very same. <laughs> well, I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always a pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah! <laughs> Well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill. Come on. Uh, uh, uh. All right. Well, fellas, I think I'm going to call it right here uh, because I need to go back and review it and just see how bad some of this gameplay looks and figure out what I'm going to do if I'm going to keep doing it this way or or switch to the pc version or what i'm gonna do so thank you guys for watching appreciate it we'll see you next time and uh y'all take it easy bye-bye